Hi, in this video you will learn what is mean by recombined milk and rehydrated milk, specific its production process and what are the equipments which are required for the production of the recombined milk and rehydrated which is also called as reconstituent milk. What is mean by recombined milk? As per Food Safety Standard Authority of India, recombined milk that means milk which is prepared from mixing of milk fat that is the milk fat sources with non-fat milk solids with addition of the water and properly mixing of this constitute and after that the pasteurization and homogenization process is carried out and the proportion of the fat and SNF is maintained in order to the final requirement that is the minimum 3% fat requirement and 8.5% SNF in the final recombined milk. Reconstituted milk that means milk which is prepared from the whole milk powder by addition of the water. Specific production process in which one part of the whole milk powder which is added 7 to 8 part of the water and then pasteurization and homogenization process is carried out. The addition of the water is specifically depending on the initial fat and SNF content in order to meet the final requirement that is the minimum 3% fat and the 8.5% of the SNF in the reconstituted milk. The main advantage of preparation of the recombined and reconstituted milk is that as per the need of the market, we can continuously supply the whatever the quantity of the milk is required and to maintain the market supply chain in as per the customer requirement. The standardization process of the recombined and the reconstituted milk, it is calculated by the Pearson square method in order to meet the final requirement that is the 3% fat and 8.5% of the SNF. As per the initial of raw material containing fat and SNF, the calculation is carried out and the, as per the calculations, the raw materials are mixed and prepared the recombined and the reconstituted milk. In the production of the recombined milk, the main constituents which are the mixed into the mixing tank, the tank should be the provision which provided the external jacket for the heating purpose, then provided internally hesitators, then feedlet, feed pipelines, then outlet pipelines with connected with the controlling devices. As per the calculations, these are the whatever the requirements in which the skim milk powder, water and the milk cream which are the mixed into this mixing tank. In this production process, you can see first water which is the loaded into the mixing tank as per the required quantity. And after the loading, this water is preheated to 38 to 43 degrees Celsius by steam circulations. And after that addition of the skim milk into this tank, skim milk powder which is added as per the required quantity. And after the proper mixing, then again slightly temperature is increased up to 43 to 49 degrees Celsius by heating system. And then addition of the milk cream or butter whatever the sources of the milk fat and continuously mixing to achieve the proper homogeneous mass and then pass to the filtration unit operations and then pasteurization process by using the plate heat exchanger by using the uh, low temperature longer time or by using high temperature short time treatment. After the filtration process, the pasteurization process is carried out by using high temperature short time or by using low temperature longer time as per the specific equipment and in between the pasteurization process single stage homogenization process is carried out and finally pasteurized and homogenized recombined milk which is the cooled and packed into the uh, packaging material next to the second one is the reconstituted milk in the reconstituted milk production process first that is the mixing tank in which first water is loaded as per the required quantity and after the loading water, they are heated, preheated up to 38 to 43 degrees Celsius. Then addition of the whole milk powder into the water 
as one part of the whole milk powder and 7 to 8 part of the water and after that properly mixing the constituents and they pass into the filtration process and then pasteurization and the homogenization process in which the low temperature longer time or by using high temperature short time in between the single stage homogenization process is carried out and after that they are directly packed into the packaging material and stored under the refrigeration condition up to the end use. These are the references used for this PowerPoint presentation. In this video discussion, you will learn what is meant by recombined milk and reconstituted milk, basic production process and the equipments required. Thank you very much.